Let's find the sum of this infinite geometric series. Uh, the formula is this, and it works if the absolute value of r is less than 1. I'm going to rewrite this just in verbal terms to save you some trouble if your formula is not exactly in that form. So it's the first term divided by 1 minus the common ratio. For our series up here, our first term is 80. And we have 1 minus, and r, we can take negative 40 divided by 80. We can take 20 divided by negative 40. Negative 10 divided by 20. Doesn't matter. They're all the same, and it gives us a negative 1 half. Now we just have to do the arithmetic. 1 minus a minus is plus, so we have 1 plus 1 half, which is 3 halves. Dividing is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal, so we have 80 times 2 thirds, which is 160 over 3. Let's find the sum of this infinite geometric series. So we, our sum is the first term divided by 1 minus the common ratio, where the common ratio has to have absolute value less than 1. So we already have our first term, it's 1 over 81, and we need to know the common ratio. You can take 1 over 27 divided by 1 over 81, or equivalently, you can say 1 over 81 times what gives you 1 over 27. 1 over 27 times what gives you 1 ninth? 1 ninth times what gives you 1 third? The answer is 3. That's our common ratio. So we might put a 1 minus 3 here. However, r equals 3, but the absolute value is not less than 1. So this is incorrect. In fact, it gives you a negative number, and this is all positive numbers that you're adding. This actually goes to infinity, in case you're wondering. So this one is divergent. This geometric series is of the form, our index goes from 1 to infinity, we have a1, and we have r to the k minus 1, and the formula just gives us that it's a1 over 1 minus r. These exactly match, so we can just plug in, a1 would be negative 3, r is going to be 2 ninths, and the absolute value of 2 ninths is less than 1, so we're good to use this. And now we just got to do the arithmetic. We'll have negative 3 over 7 ninths, which is negative 3 times 9 sevenths, which is negative 27 over 7. Nothing reduces. So if we add this up to infinity, we get negative 27 over 7. We'd like to find this sum. Now, this is a geometric series. We have something to the power. However, it is not of this form. For example, we start 3 here instead of 1. We have a k plus 1 instead of k minus 1. You can fiddle with the index and rewrite it so it's in this form. A faster way is to just use this one. A sum of a geometric series is your first term divided by 1 minus co the common ratio. Our first term is going to happen when we plug in k equals 3, so that's going to be 0 0.9 to the fourth power. Now let's divide by 1 minus the common ratio. Common ratio is what's being taken to the power, so 1 minus 0.9. And let's go ahead and use the calculator to figure this out. Although if you're adventurous, you don't have to. And it's 6.561.